Hey guys. Um, I don't know if you know me, I'm Shark. Uh, I'm in the Pocket community, I play Garchomp. I'm not one of the better well-known players, or the better players, but I'm just, I'm here. And uh, regardless, I've been trying to keep out of all the stuff that's been happening, all the drama and FGC and Pocket. Um, but there is something that has bothered me to the point where I feel like I need to step in and I need to say something. Um, and I normally, when I say stuff, or what people do when they say stuff, is they either make a, a separate page, you click on the link, as I've seen on just, uh, uh, Twitter, or you just say it, you text it. But um, I feel like it would be better if I just made a video because I don't want to be texting long chains of stuff like some people have been streaming and whatnot. Um, so I'm just going to do that. Um, there are two things I really want to address here. For, uh, or actually, three. First off, on a side note, I really love this shirt, the uh, pocket shirt there. I believe it... Really, I think it was Enigma. I forgot who made it, but I really like it. So whoever made it, I'm so sorry I forgot your name, but I really like it. I think it's really cool. Um, anyway, I do I do need to get back to the stuff that's actually really on my mind here, because um, in my opinion, there has been some misjudgment in um, this community, uh, and that would be on Jolts, because Jolts to me is a very good person and when I say good he's not good he's an amazing person he's sensitive he's passionate he's caring he's devoted to us and um, I've noticed that and I know a lot of you have as well um, and I just heard about this ban he was banned because of this drama that's been happening um, I need to say I think that's ridiculous. I think it's absolutely preposterous and ridiculous that we have taken him out of this community for a period of time because of a mistake that he made. Um, it makes me very upset. And I, I, for the most part, I try to be a nice guy. I try to be non-confrontational, calm. Um, but when there's truly something that bothers me that I need to say, I do say it, and I'm saying it right now. I think what we have done to Jolts is unfair and unjust, and it makes me very upset. Um, I think there are a lot of other ways we could have dealt with the situation. And on his end, I feel like he really took accountability, and, um, and I feel like he owned up to it. Um, you know, about all this, I first heard about it, I mean, I think people are so quick to rush to their emotions and to negativity and bias. And it's hard not to, don't get me wrong, it's hard not to step back and look at a situation for what it is. But unfortunately, I think a lot of us didn't do that. And I think a lot of us just rushed and said, okay, he's bad. Or some of us said, okay, he's good or this or that. Um, the gut feeling I get is he's a, he's a good person. And even with the evidence you guys have against him, I mean, it's it just doesn't add up to make him the way that peop some people say he might be. I think he's just, um, you know, he made a mistake. We've all made mistakes before. Every single one of us. Some of us, most of us have probably made mistakes a lot worse than what he did. And we didn't get punished nearly as badly as he is. Um, and that's another reason I think this is stupid. Um, I've made mistakes. I mean, everyone has. Jolts made this one mistake, and now he's being attacked for it. Um, so another thing about human nature is um, when we see something we fear, our first instinct is to attack it and say it's the villain or whatever. And... Uh, I just don't think we should have that sentiment toward him. I don't think it's right. You know, I think I think we need to be better as people in this. Um, 
you know, there's some some things I do want to address about it. Um, I think social media has a huge part, obviously, in this, especially in portraying things a certain way and um, really uh, igniting certain biases in the way that he is being judged. Um, and I think the uh, Jintrax made a stream I know about. I see, I saw his stream. I saw Jolt's post, and for the most part, they were pretty valid stuff in each. But um, I feel like part of the um, negativity we get from this is just the fact that we're going way too hard on him. You know, when the tournament, that whatever that tournament he made, he made it all, and then there was a problem with the seeding. Um, you know, he was be just making tournaments at the beginning. I mean, I want you guys to step back and think about what's going through his mind, because it's so easy just to think, I'm stressed, I'm justified to be stressed, and I need this because this is what I deserve. And that's called entitlement. Um, you know, I still get it. I would be frustrated too if I was put at a seed where I thought I shouldn't be. But at the same time, it's a free tournament, whatever this tournament was. I think it was free. It's a Thunderdome. Um, it was mainly for practice. It's online. So how seriously can you really take it if it's free and it's online? It's for practice. I mean, you can take it seriously in the way you want to improve. Um, but I think that was definitely an overreaction. A lot of other instances, not just on that stream, but in general, of what people have been responding to have been an overreaction. I myself have overreacted to things before, so we're all to blame on this. Every single one of us is fallible. But I think that the fact that we are uh, portraying Jolt's fallacies as, you know, really bad and worse than what anyone else has done, that's really inaccurate. We've all done really bad things. We're all fallible as people. So for us to do this to him, and I'm going to continue to say this, is ridiculous. Um, you know, for the most part, I've seen this community as pretty cool, but it makes me not want to be a part of a community that treats members like that so poorly after they made a mistake. And by the way, I'm sure we all have horrible mistakes like that. It wasn't even a horrible mistake, in my opinion. It was a mistake. I've probably had much worse mistakes than him, and I guarantee you if mine or anyone else's mistakes were broadcasted like that, they would probably have really bad consequences. So I don't think it's fair that his happened to be publicly posted, and now he's getting all the, he's offensive because, these offenses, because if that's happening to him, I think we should all be responsible for what we've done. We should all have light shown on our mistakes so that it can be equalized because we're trying to be, you know, we're, we're trying to gain power in the situation by putting someone else down because, oh, what, are we so perfect? Or is everyone else so perfect that they haven't done that? No, of course not. So um, that is one thing I did want to say. I think we really need to look back and uh, apologize to Jolts, actually, for what we did to him because that negative energy is becoming a snowball and a cascading effect. That's not good. That's not good, guys. Um, another thing I said, one more thing I think it was, um, in terms of a safe committee, I think it was, I think that's great. I mean, I think it's good to have a safe space for people. Um, but, you know, in this, the general trend or feelings I've got from this community is you have to censor yourself a little bit or refrain from saying things that could be offensive. And I'm going to say offensive because people get offended by literally everything today. And there's definitely a difference between um, getting truly offended and insulted or threatened and announcing that this, whatever, this statement or whatever should be censored because I feel uncomfortable or it makes me feel uncomfortable. If it makes something makes you feel uncomfortable, you should look into yourself and understand why it makes you feel uncomfortable instead of forcing others to not say something or do something, you know? That's a reflection on you, not on the community. I think we all need to grow up a little bit and 
stop being kids and um, look back into ourselves to see, okay, what bothers me, what doesn't bother me. And after we do that, then we can work on ourselves, then return to the community. And when someone says something we used to feel uncomfortable about, then we'll be like, oh, that's just this, or oh, that's that. Um, and I'm not trying to say we should be insensitive to cultural or racial or sexual or anything that um, might pertain to that. I'm not talking about insensitivity. I'm talking about um, just being mature and um, not being so phased by little things. You know, it's so easy. Like I've seen pe some people just don't seem like they've grown up in fighting game communities. Like they should get things. They things should be catered to them or done their way because otherwise they would feel uncomfortable. And I think in a fighting game, you have to constantly adapt and improve. And why not do that as people too? Why not adapt and improve in something that used to bother you or hurt you? Now it doesn't hurt you because we can dodge it or whatever. That's kind of silly, but it, I mean, it, it's the truth. If you work on yourself as a person, you get past that without having to stop an entire community from doing something or saying something because you feel uncomfortable. Um, yeah, I mean, and in terms of uh, the social media portion of that, I think that when people are posting these things, these confessions or whatever, accusations, um, I honestly only think a small amount of them are valid. I think the ones that deal with serious um, threatened threats or sexual molestation or rape, things like that, I think shouldn't be taken lightly, obviously. I think those people should own up to it um, but things like oh, this person said this to me and it made me feel uncomfortable or it offended me or this or that I think that's completely on you and I don't think you should I mean you can obviously you can post it if you want it's a free country blah 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 blah, blah but I think if you really want that to get better it's something you got to work on and I think if you're just posting it you want attention um, it's not gonna help you as a person it means you're looking for sympathy instead of looking into yourself and trying to be independent enough to deal with something. It's about fighting adversity, not letting adversity beat you or not being affected by adversity where something has to be completely shut down because of that, like poor jolts, etc. Um, I think that's kind of what I wanted to address. Um, I do want to try to end on a positive note though, because there are still a lot of really good things going on and a lot of, um, people in this community that are um, sweet and caring and um, very loyal. So um, I just want to say, you know, this is something that we probably thought very rash with a very rash uh, mentality on. And I think if we really take the time to look back on it, forgive each other, forgive ourselves, and just move on instead of put a consequence on someone or something. I think that will actually work better than prohibiting someone from doing something because it means, you know what, you know what that communicates? It communicates acceptance when you don't put a consequence on someone um, that doesn't really deserve it. And when you communicate acceptance, Everyone feels welcome and thriving, and that's when um, positive positivity is fostered the most. And I think a lot of us do that naturally. You know, some of us just need to learn it or get relearn it, and I think that's awesome that we're going to relearn it. So um, I don't think I have too much else to say, other than I just really hope that we step back and become more impartial in all of these situations and don't take things at face value. Um, really dissect something rather than looking at a post and instantly posting something back about it. We need to do that as people. We need to be better than that. Joltz is better. Joltz improved himself. He admitted to his mistakes, which is a strength. It's not a weakness. And I think it's a weakness what we did to him. So um, it really bothers me. And I try not to post stuff or be a huge voice in the community because uh, I just I'm just honestly I'm just here to play games and improve somehow get s1 on ranked somehow win a major um, 
And when stuff like this gets in the way, I mean, I think it defeats the purpose of being in a fighting game community. So you know, let's be strong people and let's think back on this. Uh, and another thing I want to say before I end is uh, you guys are probably going to have a lot to say to me <laughs> about all this. You guys are probably going to have a lot of input, responses, whatever. Um, DM me on Discord. Ask me to talk. We can voice chat on Discord. We can DM. We can do. We can video chat. I don't care. But let's do it in a way that's productive and in a way that we both get our points across in a non-threatening way, like a discussion or a debate, but a, de a debate that's a respectful debate. So if you have anything to say to me at all, I would love to hear it. And um, you can talk to me in the ways I just mentioned. Otherwise, I really hope each and every single one of you has a wonderful day, a wonderful night, morning, whatever it is. And um, I know we're all going to get through this. So um, keep playing Pocket. Keep doing what you do. Keep being passionate. And uh, I love you all. And I um, will probably chat with you guys soon. So, yeah.